Hi everybody, this is Laura, City Scrapper. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Today I have an unboxing video of the October My Creative Scrapbook Limited Edition Kit. I'm going to show you all of the gorgeous papers we received and then I'll show you all of the embellishments that we got in this month's kit. So we start off with this stunning floral print from Simple Stories. I'm definitely gonna fussy cut these flowers out. And on the other side is a smaller scale pink print. Here we have a Prima paper. This is so pretty. I love the blue, almost wallpaper look to this one with the distressing in the corners. And then on the other side, we have another print that's similar, but more muted. And I love the gold foil touches on this side. Here is a 49 and Market paper. This has some large scale blue roses, some butterflies. And then on the other side, a small print with lots of white wash and distressing. Here we have a whole line of colorful butterflies with a neutral background. And then on the other side, we have a neutral print, this very, very tiny flower with a wash and a branding strip that could definitely be used for the sentiments that are on it. Here's another gorgeous floral. This one has some large pink flowers and this pretty blue butterfly. On the other side, we have a pink and blue wash with some white polka dots overlaid on those washes. And this is also a really pretty branding strip down here. This paper has some beautiful blue flowers and butterflies on the bottom, and then a lighter blue at the top. And then on the other side, we have this blue print with some areas of blue wash. And here we have yet another gorgeous floral. This one has large pink and large blue flowers with a pink butterfly and a blue butterfly. And then on the top, we have pink and blue washes and you can see there's some print in the background as well. 49 and Market always seems to include some cool and interesting images in the background even when it looks almost like a solid. And on the other side we have this pretty green stripe. Here's another floral page. This one is mainly green. The flowers are outlined in green and the background is green. And then there are some touches of blue as well. On the other side is this really beautiful small print with some white wash and looks like distressing on it. That's a really pretty pattern paper. And then here's a wood grain paper with some florals on it. I absolutely love wood grain paper, so I was really excited to see this one. I will probably use this one first just because I love wood grain so much. And then on the other side, we have this smaller bluish print. It's a muted color and it has the white washes on it as well. Here's another paper that's similar in color, but this one is a lot darker and it almost looks a little more dramatic than the other ones to me. It's really pretty. And then on the other side of this one is a pink print, again with some subtle white washing. And then finally we got this cut apart sheet. There are some large journaling cards. Here's a postcard, some tickets a large heart, butterfly, lots of flowers and leaves, a butterfly here, and then some buttons plus a tab. So these just have to be cut out and they could be incorporated into the layouts. And I always love getting the cut apart sheets. The next thing that we received in the October kit is this set of laser cuts. This is from the 49 and Market Tranquility Collection. This pack has 
butterflies and florals and I was really excited to see that because I love using butterflies and florals on my scrapbooking layouts so this was I thought a perfect set to go along with those papers. Now, in these laser cut packs we received four sheets they are connected here are the first two sheets there are lots of gorgeous flowers these are some larger flower clusters there are some flowers that are on stems there are some individual flowers we have butterflies and then I think that this is a kind of a new image from 49 and market I really like that stem and I always like to point out how easy these are to punch out unlike some other die cuts that I've used in the past they punch right out they're very easy and quick to remove here are the second two sheets of die cuts again you could see there are lots and lots of flowers and there are some leaves there are lots of butterflies in some different colors that go along with the pattern papers and then here are more of these stems I really like these they had the blue one on the other sheet and here we have some white pink and then another blue stem like that I think those are absolutely gorgeous we also received this set of clear stamps this is a bow bunny product the butterflies the large one and the very tiny one are great to go along with this collection I love the brush stroke there are also these great stamps for using in backgrounds this one looks like it's text and this one looks like music notes and I love using these kinds of stamps in backgrounds there's also this larger floral cluster so there are a lot of really great stamps that coordinate really well with the collection we also received this stencil looks like a Vicki Booten stencil I'm gonna take it out of the package so that you can get a little bit of a better idea of what it looks like so I think that that's so pretty I love the way the circles are kind of in circles it's a great geometric pattern we also received this ephemera bits pack there are 87 die cut pieces in this 49 and market pack these packs are jam-packed with so many beautiful images I'll take them out of the packaging so that you could see just how many there are and the size of them and what they look like this is everything that we receive in the ephemera pack I'm going to start off with the titles I love getting titles that match with the pattern papers I think it just makes the layouts come together so much more easily than having to hunt for a title that goes with the collection so I was really happy to see those titles there are also some fancy frames the frames come in pink blue and green and then in the centers of those over here are some butterflies that are layered over clocks in the three different colors that the frames are we also have some smaller sentiments this one says love this a good day my heart best ever so sentiments you could use on so many different pages there are also some tags in two different sizes these have a pattern at the bottom these are a little bit smaller and then there are two larger tags that have numbers down the left hand side there are also some labels here are some labels with some really pretty images on them and then here we have some labels that are a little bit more plain these have a striped top these have a stripe of color across the top we have these really beautiful stitched hearts in lots of different sizes and all the different colors some butterflies in my opinion you can never get enough butterflies so there are a couple right there we also have some sentiments that are on a curve I love incorporating these into pages and then we have a number of other sentiments in some slightly different sizes and different colors that are also great to use on so many different pages there are some smaller frames and then the smaller frames have images in the center as well so this one has a heart 
There are some with butterflies. These have some pretty images on them. These are striped with a butterfly and some tickets. And then we also have some large and small tickets in this pile. 49 and Market often includes tickets in their ephemera packs. So here are some tiny ones. And then there are some that are a little bit bigger in a number of different colors. And then we also have these kind of double tickets. And these come in four different colors. And then finally, we have these Viewmaster discs. I love these. I think these are another embellishment that really helps pages come together easily. And then in the centers of these pieces, they have another embellishment. I love the way they use every little bit of paper to give you yet another embellishment that you could use on your pages. This one says, never forget this. This one says, the sweet life. And then there are quite a few of these layering pieces. Some of them have images on them. This one does as well. And then there are also a number that are more plain or have more of a solid look to them. And then there are also these very large cards and these have some of the same images as we saw on the pattern papers and so of course they're absolutely beautiful. So that is everything in the ephemera pack and as I said before there are 87 pieces to use on your layouts. I wanted to point out, I forgot to point this out last month, that on the back of the laser cut packaging, there are cut aparts. This is a great addition to all of the other items that we get in the kit. There's a large layering piece. We have quite a few tickets over here, butterflies, flowers. We have some hearts. We have some leaves here, some heart buttons a key and a lock. And then this is the other side of the ephemera pack. And this can also be used on layouts. It has a nice shine to it. So sometimes I find that that can be great to use on scrapbooking layouts. So I encourage you as it seems like 49 and market is to use every little bit of the paper that you receive, whether it's the paper that is in the pack or it's the packaging. I wanted to mention that at the very end of the video, in a few moments, I included images of the layouts that I created using the October kit. I'm hoping that that can give you a little bit of inspiration and maybe some ideas on how you can use your October kit. Finally, though, I wanted to talk about my favorite part of every unboxing, which is the packs of flowers. This month, we got three packs of flowers. Two are from 49 and Market, and one is from Prima. I'm going to start over here with this beautiful set of dark blue flowers. There are a lot of flowers in this pack, some smaller ones, and then there are some medium ones as well. And it looks like there are quite a few leaves tucked in there between the flowers. Here we have a set of Prima flowers with some bright yellow centers. I love the way these colors are a perfect match for the Tranquility collection. And then there are some branches in the background, some small flowers over here, and then also this really gorgeous pink and blue butterfly. Finally, we have this set of pink flowers. There are lots of different, not only sizes, but types of flowers in this pack. We have some roses. We have some flowers with brown centers. Here we have some tiny, tiny flowers, some buds, and there are a number of leaves sprinkled in there as well. So there are lots and lots of flowers for you to use from this month's kit. So that is everything that we received. I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing. If you are not a current subscriber to My Creative Scrapbook and you would like to become one, you can check that out in the description box. There's a link to the My Creative Scrapbook website and you can check out all the kits there and order one if you would like. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.